Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm at Kenny Upal, located in St. Catharines, Ontario, and I'm showing you a very boring car. But, this very boring car is very nostalgic, because growing up, these things are, well, they were everywhere. These Pontiac Grand Ams were so popular when they first came out. They were stylish, cool, and Pontiac as a brand was very interesting because they made something that was fun and not grandpa-y at all, but it was still built on the same platform as those other grandpa cars, like the Buick behind it, <clears throat> or the Buick right here. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, I personally like the Buick more, but Buick's more, but moving on, this is, I believe it's a GT, signified by the chrome wheels, which actually these chrome wheels aren't terrible. I've seen way worse condition than that, but they're still not good. This one had the leather interior, still has it rather, and it has 300,000 kilometers on it. Damn, this thing lasted. Let's get the sunroof. It doesn't have the peeling dash though, miraculously. Leather wrap steering wheel. This is all original though. And honestly, as much as I love to rag on these cars, they're actually kind of nice. They're comfy-ish. They kind of fell apart though. And as you can see this one here, the rust down there by my foot. This was most of the issue with these cars was rust. They rusted away before you could get the mileage out of them. I do believe this is a GT. GT. It's a, yeah, it's a Grand Am GT. <clears throat> and there's actually someone on YouTube. He has fixed so many of these. He just daily beats them all the time. And for him, they seem to work. They, uh, well, he knows them very well, too. And I suppose if you know them very well, you would just keep getting them. And under the hood of this, GT trim level, you got a bit of a bigger thing than others got. This one here has the 3.4 liter V6, whereas these could have either the 3.1 liter V6 or the 3.4, but the GT got the 3.4 with the Ram Air. And Ram Air by Pontiac, and the other engine option was a 2.4 liter inline four. It was the quad four engine, which was known for oil burning. And it was the base model engine for these things. Now, not to say it's a bad engine, but it's certainly not a good one. And then guessing the Ram air goes in right through here. But that's kind of interesting that they made a Ram air from factory in the 90s and early 2000s for these cars. But they don't do that anymore. Not that I've seen at least. Uh, they, this was when the sedans were the thing and they were fighting to be the best. And honestly, considering what they did, that's not a bad little, little design they did there. But one thing about the 90s cars in the early 2000s, the plastic starts here and goes all the way down. There is metal underneath, but it's uh, it holds moisture and rots them out, which was a critical flaw of the early 2000s GM cars. <clears throat> and you'll see it on a lot of their vehicles. But yeah, Pontiac was just a decent brand. It was a nice brand. It was fun, sporty, youthful, and just interesting they give you features that others just didn't give you unless you got a high high trim level and of course we cannot forget the grand prix gtp and the grand prix gxp those were two really cool cars that they made i think and whenever i get a chance i do get a video of them because of it anyways thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more have a great day everyone